another great feature on this mixer is uh, the actual possibility to assign uh, certain effects um, on your EQ, basically making it uh, very natural to still use your uh, high, mid and lows, but uh, not only uh, influencing sound, but, but also uh, influence the, the, the visual side of it. Um, it's, you know, a little difficult, so you have to follow me, but um, there's a, uh, a setup here uh, that shows uh, the uh, exact assignment. Highs, mid, lows, very simple, very DJ friendly. And within these menus, you can uh, uh, adjust any kind of contrast that you want to, uh, or color that you want to use for, for instance, dropping the bass. Might sound a bit weird, but uh, I'll show you uh, what I mean. I've uh, prepared a little bit uh, of a preset at home. So here we have the fruit again. Again, my track. And what happens now is when I take out the bass, it changes color as well. Put it back in and we're going back to the original footage. And it's the same for, you know, the mids and the highs have an effect. In terms of the highs, actually, we kill the whole uh, thing, which is kind of natural because, you know, that's kind of how it feels it should be. Uh, another great feature, uh, one of the better features of the mixer is turning it off. It may sound weird, but if you're in a club and it's bright and there's a lot of things happening and you have a breakdown but the visuals are quite hectic, it might be a very uh, fine instrument or use to, to actually turn it off, you know, and to create a, a moment of darkness. Here we are. Uh, and also if we have real cool, you know, moments that we want to enhance together with your light jockey in any club environment, we can give it a little boost and it, you know, gives a, a little boost on the screen as well.